All right, guys, today we are doing an unboxing of something very special. We've all seen the uh, more budget, affordable 3D scanners hit the market over the last six months to a year. And there's been mixed reviews, everything from they do work and they can work really well, but they take a long time or there's software issues or, or whatever. So finally, Shining 3D has unveiled their new affordable scanner option, the Einstar, which today we're gonna unbox. Also, thank you Shining for uh, sending this on over for us to check out. Uh, we are very excited to get going with it and see what this can really do. And if you guys wanna see a comparison against uh, some of those other scanners in the market, let me know which ones down below and uh, maybe we'll just do a direct comparison. And show you everything that's inside and then we'll have more videos on the calibration, workflow, and overall scanning capabilities compared to scanners like the HX or the Pro HD, the more professional grade scanners. But for now, let's get into this box and see what we're gonna get with the Einstar. Let me go ahead and open this thing up here. Here we have it, open the box and you've got another box. Uh, this is a nice little carrying case. Let's open this thing up. Let's just take a look at the power cable. It should be standard 110 volt American plug. Here we go. Yep, standard power cable, very nice. And uh, let's see what's on the inside. Oh, here we go. All right, all right. I'll just jump to the juicy stuff real quick. The Einstar. All right. Small form factor. Looks a lot like the Pro HD. As a matter of fact, looks like we've got three cameras on there. One of them is color. There is V-cell lasers in here, multiple cameras, some light projectors, and infrared light. So you can actually scan people without giving them a light show with the eyes closed. Like the Pro HD, a couple seconds of that thing blasting in your face and it's like being in a light show from the 80s. It's absolutely nuts. Apparently this one will do a lot better, similar to the Einscan H for people. Uh, it's also got an algorithm for hair and things like that. But if we look at it, the form factor literally looks very similar to the Pro HD. It's almost like the Pro series without a handle. Fits pretty nicely in the hand. I can definitely see scanning there. You've got the little buttons here for start and stop and zoom, things of that nature. And one plug here on the bottom. This is actually something that they started on the HX or the H and HX line of uh, scanners. And they have the USB and the power cable. Now it looks like they've combined those into one connector, which is actually really, really nice. So let's check out those connectors and see what those look like. All right, so we've got the cable. This is gonna be the data cable and the power adapter. So the power adapter which is your standard block adapter. Okay, oh man, this looks like it's off of a red camera or something like that. Nice, the, the cable's thinner compared to the uh, HX cables. Let me give you a direct comparison. So this is the X or the Einstar and this is the HX. You've got the USB and the power and they've combined it into one. It's overall thinner, lighter, very good. All right, we would take the power brick and plug it in where the USB plugs into your computer. Plug into that, this plugs into the computer, and then you've got this whole cable going to the actual scanner. Now let's see how this actually fits in here. There we go. All right, plugged it in. It's got a locking mechanism. That's really nice, so I just pull back and the whole thing comes out. Push it back in, but if I just pull in the cable, that is super stable. So that's your basic cabling setup. You got the power, you got the other thing. They do sell power banks, so you can actually plug this directly into a power brick that's got a big, uh, big battery inside, so you can go totally mobile with your laptop or something like that if you need to. Okay, so we've got this little zipper area, and that comes with markers. These are gonna be used on the part or on a turntable or something like that, whatever surface you're scanning on. But you put these on the, on the parts and it helps basically tell where it is uh, with triangulation and everything. It has to see at least three of these points if you're in markers mode. It also has modes where you just uh, detect features and also color. So you can use the color to track, you can use the features and the geometric features of the part to track or these markers here. And let's see, it also comes with, comes with this nice little uh, just microfiber towel. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. All right. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a suede towel. 
Nice. All right, cleaning the lenses and everything. Let's take that right off like that. All right, cool. So we got a towel. And that's all in that little pouch. And then we've got this other zipper pouch going around here. Looks like calibration board inside. It's labeled in English and Chinese. Very nice. Oh, got a, another little storage pocket in here. And then the calibration board. Comes in this nice velvet case as per usual for shining products. And then it looks like this. It's different from the other calibration boards we normally see. These are like printed vinyl of some kind with reflective, uh, reflective stuff behind it. This is a white panel. It's a little bit different, both made of uh, glass. I believe it's borosilicate glass backing, so it's nice and rigid. It's not gonna change dimensions, it's gonna stay flat. And what's interesting is these appear to be adhesive markers. And they're the, I believe, three millimeter and six millimeter markers just applied to the plate, almost definitely by a robot. They're perfectly spaced as they should be for calibration. And that is fascinating. And then of course you do have the backside here for the white balance for calibrating the color camera. And then it looks like we've got a little uh, a strap for the uh, carrying case, I believe. Yep, so you got these two little hooks on the side of the carrying case. You just hook these on here. And then if you wanna run around and just sling it over your shoulder, uh, your laptop bag or something, easy transportation. It's a nice, addition, a nice thing to have a case. You know, the, um, the Pro HD comes with a really nice box and you can buy a travel case separate for it. The HX actually comes in a Pelican style case, hard case with rollers and a handle and everything. You know, just having a nice case where everything goes in one spot is really, really nice to have. And this is actually very high quality. It's nice cloth. It's a nice, it's well built. Did not cheap out on it. That's very good to see. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's what comes in the box. It's everything you need to get started scanning and keep scanning. We'll be having a lot more videos detailing this unit versus the HD and the HX and the accuracy. We're actually gonna use Geomagic Essentials to check and validate and see exactly how accurate this thing is compared to the professional scanners that we sell. Uh, and that should be really cool. We'll do a calibration video and lots of other stuff. So make sure you're subscribed so you see when all those come out. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see us scan. Uh, if you have a particular application or something you wanna see how it's done, just let us know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.